Hi, it's Pastor Nass. Thanks for joining me for another devotion from God's Word. One of our favorite things to do as a family is to go to the zoo. When we go to the zoo that's closest to us, our favorite exhibit is probably to see the the lions. They have a a pair of lions, a male and a female. Our boys especially love to, to see the lions. The last time we went to the zoo, we were there right at closing time. So we were some of the only people in the zoo. As we walked up to the glass in front of the lion exhibit, the the big daddy lion was laying down right next to the glass. It was almost as if we could literally reach out and and touch him, this this huge animal. And as a father of three boys, our boys thought that was the the coolest thing, this big lion right there in front of them. But then when we left the zoo, we had a little different experience. The moment we left the zoo, like I said, it was closing time. We couldn't see those lions anymore, but suddenly... We could hear them. They started roaring, both of them. As we walked back to the car, we could hear these roars of lions, roars that must have carried for for miles away. And suddenly those lions didn't seem like these cute furry animals that we'd want to reach out and touch. Hearing their roars sent a a chill down your back. As, As I listened to them roaring, I thought to myself, you know, it's one thing to see lions at the zoo, but I am very thankful that I will never have to live in a place where there are wild lions around, it'd be, it'd be terrifying to imagine one of those beasts hunting you and your family. It's just that that's actually the, the case. Did you know that? I want to read for you a, a verse from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, which says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. The Bible says there actually is a huge lion lurking around, roaring and trying to find and devour you. It's terrifying to think about. With all the problems that we face in our world and all the difficulties in our lives, I think we're often tempted to forget who the real enemy is. The real enemy is the devil. This fallen angel, so much more powerful than you and I, so much more evil than anything we can possibly imagine, whose greatest goal is to devour you and me and to send, to have you and me and all of our loved ones suffer forever in hell with him. There is a roaring lion who's looking to devour you. Beneath all the evil in our world, there's a devil and demons that we can't see, that are looking to tear you and me and everyone else uh, away from God. I heard those lions roar at the zoo. It was, it was chilling to hear it, even knowing that they were far away in a cage. Imagine the devil seeking you and your faith in Jesus today. But that passage isn't there to make us afraid. It ends with this phrase. It says, resist him, standing firm in the faith. You first hear those words, they might sound strange. Me resist this roaring lion? There's no way a lion against me, I don't stand any chance. Me against the devil? Even less. Yet the Bible says resist him, standing firm in the faith, because the Bible tells us that you and I are actually able to resist the devil. Not because of our own strength, we wouldn't stand a chance. But when you're a baptized child of God, the Holy Spirit lives in your heart. When you're a believer, By faith in Jesus, you know that all of your sins are forgiven, that Jesus is your Savior from sin, death, and even the devil himself. Because you're not alone, because you're on Jesus' side, God says, resist the devil, standing firm in the faith. God's given you the the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. He's given you the shield of our saving faith in Jesus It's not amazing to think about, even as we have this roaring lion looking to devour us, Jesus is the one who gives us peace. In fact, there's another verse in the Bible that says, the one who is in you is greater than the one who's in the world. So this is what God tells us to have as our attitude. The verse started by saying, be alert and of sober mind. Recognize that the greatest danger in the world isn't what you see on the news, the greatest danger are the spiritual forces of evil that want to pull you away from Jesus. Be alert and of sober mind, but then always remember that Jesus, your Savior, is stronger. He gives you victory, even over that lion that's out to seek your soul and your life. 
If you want to learn more about what the Bible says about the devil and demons, I just read a book recently that was very helpful to me. It's called 2,000 Demons. It's written by a man named Alan Sorum, a professor at our Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary. You can get the book through our Northwestern Publishing House or probably find it on Amazon too. And even more, I invite you to come to our worship services this weekend. We're going to hear about one of Jesus' many miracles over demons, driving an, an evil spirit out of a man. We'll be reminded of how powerful and present the devil is in our world, but also be reminded that Jesus, our Savior, is even more powerful and he gives us hope and peace. Let's say a prayer. You know, Jesus, it's, it's humbling to think and terrifying to think that the devil is a roaring lion looking to devour us in our faith. We're so thankful that we have you and your salvation and your word to protect us and give us strength to resist him. We ask, dear Jesus, that even as this great enemy roams around our world, that you protect us, that you keep us firm in our faith in Jesus, and one day you take us home to be with you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless your day.